Okay, the way the system works is we have eight cameras mounted up here. Um, these eight cameras are, are triggered off a DMI sensor. The What's DM a DMI sensor? It's a distance measurement indicator. It's mounted on the rear wheel. So for every eight meters the vehicle rolls, the cameras are triggered. Okay. When the cameras are triggered, we, we are able to collect this information into the server back here, and this information is stored in its compressed JPEG format images in here. Con right. Conversely, there's also a, a couple other processes taking place. There's a differential GPS down here. That differential GPS inside inside a car, inside the vehicle, and the antenna is right there. Okay. What the differential GPS does, it, it is able to actually pinpoint the location of the vehicle to a quarter of an inch using ground repeater stations for offset because there's some sort of there's usually offset between where the GPS is to where the actual location of the vehicle is. Right. Due to building heights and all type of stuff. So the, what the actual differential does through ground repair stations, you're able to actually locate the exact location of the vehicle to a quarter of an inch. Ah. So we get amazing accuracy right. by, by having all these systems in place. In the city, we have a 33 mile per hour speed limit. On, on the highway, it's about 60. This is also dependent on sun angle conditions and, and a variety of other extraneous conditions. If it's too dark, if it's light, it, it depends on, on other conditions to to, to how quickly it can go. Right. But generally, 33 miles an hour and 60 miles per hour. Are you taking 2D and 3D, or is this just 3D? Right, 2D, 2, 2D and 3D, okay. We use, we use the cameras to build out our 2D maps and to update them. We also, conversely, are also taking 3D laser imagery of buildings, of streetscapes, all that type of stuff. And we can create a 3D map from, from the types of data we're collecting with this vehicle. Ah. So and you were saying it takes about between two weeks and several months. Yeah, it, it depends on, on how quickly, how backlogged we are, and a bunch of other different items. If, if, to if process the data. Yeah, exactly. It, it depends on a variety of, of, of aspects to, right. to, to, to make sure we're actually. How many of those cars uh, do you have? We have 24 of these vans in, in North America. It's Canada and the United States. Okay. And um, how long does it take, let's say, for uh, a city like San Francisco to, you know, to, to get completely mapped? About, about a month. A month with one car or several cars? One car. 